Now we've got the three openings that we need in our wall. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to uh, add in, uh, well, we got to enclose these things. So I'm going to use a different kind of wall here. We're not going to use any kind of a brick or anything like that. We're going to pull this down until we get to uh, these three types down here. These are called curtain walls, and there's three different kinds. We're going to use two of them. The first one is going to be storefront. And storefront wall is going to go uh, on the two end walls. So I've clicked on storefront. And what I forgot to do was to actually go to 2D floor view. Okay. Now back to wall. I got my storefront going. And I'm going to go to the middle of this and come down to here and click. Now I'll go down to the bottom one. And same thing. I'll go to both ends of this thing right in the middle and click. And if I go back out to my 3D view, what you're going to see is that we have a uh, glass here. And it actually extends up past the uh, wall that uh, I put in there before this uh, concrete or the brick on concrete. Uh, now, in the middle one, we're going to use a different wall type. Now, on the middle one, I'm going to use the curtain wall one. And again, I'll go back to my 2D floor so I can see that. And I'm going to draw this one in. Oops, forgot. I got to go to wall. And then I can go to curtain wall one, and it's there now. I'll pick and pick, and I give an error message, and that's okay, and that's because what's happening right now is the glass is going up 20 feet, which means it's going through the uh, actual uh, brick wall that I have there. So we'll just ignore that and do this. So what you can see is you can see the glass, actually, if you look at this. See if I can zoom in and show it to you. You can see the glass picking up there. So I'm going to push escape a couple times. Now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to click on that glass. And here's the grip. That's that blue line or blue triangle. And I'm just going to pull that down so that it is below the hole in the wall. As a matter of fact, I'm going to do that same thing with the other ones too. I'm going to choose them. I'm going to get the grip. And I'm just going to pull it down. And I want to pull it way down so that it's past the uh, the op opening, okay? Click, grip, pull it down. I can move it up a little if I think I got it too much, too far down. Okay, back to my west elevation. And uh, with the two storefront, this is the best way to go about doing this with the two storefront. I'm just gonna click on the grip and bring it up until it, inter until it gets to the uh, top of the uh, opening. So I'll just click on it, get the grip, and I'll move it up. And it already puts in one of the mullions. That's what the white things are there. Now, with, oops, with the center one, this uh, pane of glass, basically, we have to do something a little different. So with this one, I can do the same thing as I did with the two on the ends and just use the grip, but I figured I'd show you just a little different technique. Here I'm going to click on the wall itself, the glass part that's short. I'm going to hit attach top base. I'm going to go down to the bottom and click. I'm going to come up here to the top of that opening and click. And now I should have that glass wall enclosed. 